chaps. Welcome to the Next Generation Role Model Show. I'm your host, Victoria Summer, and today I am very excited to welcome onto the show a 17-year-old actress. Her name is Hadar Katz, and she is going to chat to me about acting, speaking many languages, loving animals, uh, horse riding, and her latest film, which I'm very, very excited for her about. So let's see if we can grab her and get her to jump in here. Hadar, are you there? Yes, hello. Fantastic, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, how are you? Doing great, thanks for coming on the show, welcome. Oh, my pleasure, thank you very much for having me. Of course, yeah, and you are joining us from Rome, am I right? Yes, I am, in Italy. We were just, yeah, we were just chatting about this yesterday because I happened to have just flown in from Rome to Florida and um, spent a little bit of time in Rome. And I know that you go back and forth between London and Rome. Yeah, exactly. Which is fantastic. And just to let all the viewers know, not only is Hadar an actress, but she also speaks fluently three languages. She speaks English, <laughs> Hebrew, and Italian, which I think is amazing because I'm currently learning Italian. So that's, uh, that's really, yeah, it's really wonderful. All right, so we're gonna chat a bit about your next movie, which is coming out on November 6th. Um, yeah. But you are here because we have identified you as a role model. We're very excited about your career and what you have coming yeah. up. Let's chat a bit, first of all, about your dive into acting. Tell me about the, you know, when you first knew, yeah, I want to be an actress. Um, I don't think there's ever been a specific moment where I was like, I want to be an actress. This is it. But um, I can definitely say it's something that I've always been drawn to my entire life. Uh, you can ask my parents, my classmates, my teachers. Um, I've always just kind of been very kind of theatrical and loved performing. And when I was a toddler, I used to take a stool and put it in the middle of the room and start either singing or lecturing or performing a little piece for people. Um, so I feel like it's always been a really big part of my life. Um, and it always seemed really far-fetched to me and kind of unattainable as a career. Um, and there's something I could, I could be. I mean, I wanted to, but it just seemed, seemed too, too amazing and too impossible for me to reach it. And um, I was obviously part of every drama production at school and every opportunity I could, I could really take. Um, and when I did my uh, GCSE exam, which is an exam that um, I did when I was 16, um, my mum came to watch me. And I had been telling her, mum, I want to be an actress, mum, I want to be an actress. And she came to watch me. And um, I did a wonderful monologue from a play called uh, People, Places and Things. And uh, she was like, okay, let's do this. And then uh, everything kind of happened from there. And um, when I did my role in uh, the film that's coming out, My Dad's Christmas Date, um, I just knew, I just, I was just like, this is it. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I had no doubt about it whatsoever. And you'd found your purpose. What a great feeling that is, especially, you know, because you're young, you're, you're 17, I think yeah. that's correct. And um, just to know that that's, because so many people struggle with that. You know, they, they sometimes even in, in their mid twenties, mid thirties, or, you know, people change course all the time, but to really have such a big passion for something is an amazing feeling where you know where you're going. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um... It's, it's just kind of a constant for me. Like I know that this is it. So it's one less thing I need to kind of worry about if that makes sense. Um, however challenging the industry might be, um, it's just, it's always going to be there. So it's kind of a calming factor for me. 
Yeah, and we're going to get to the challenges of this business a little bit later on in the interview. But let's talk a little bit about your fan base now. How do you intend to use your platform to give hope to others and to inspire people? I think something that's really important for me to kind of put out there is that it's okay and it's still cool and interesting to be happy and to achieve everything you want to achieve and I think it's really important um, especially now during this unique time uh, to show people that life isn't perfect and I still go to full-time school I'm actually in my last year and I think that's also really really important um, I feel like again we said we'd talk about it later on but in the industry um, kids my age especially kind of have to decide and um, choose between school and their career or their extracurriculars in their career and for me it's really really important to kind of show people uh, and especially kids my age who perhaps want the same career path that I that I want to pursue um, that it education is really important and it's one of the huge steps that one needs to take in order to be successful in my opinion in this in this industry um I think it's really important and I think it goes for acting as well like training is super important classes are super important and just like the social aspect of school and studying and I just think it's very very important and um I think that's one of the major things that I want to kind of inspire people with and show that you know I'm still a regular teenager who goes to school and I do my extracurriculars, I ride my horses and things like that. And yet I still manage to kind of pursue this side of my career and I don't have to make any compromises when it comes to that. I think it's really important. Very important. And let's talk a little bit further about social media. How do you feel like that has impacted your career? Because it has been a big change for many people in the industry that now it is, it is on the up, that social media is really important. Um, it took me by surprise um, because I've always been kind of private about my social media and very kind of low key when it came to that. Um, but it's really important nowadays. And um, through working in this industry and, you know, doing this film and now kind of moving on with things, um, I've really realized that it's a huge part of someone's career. and um it's very very important but for me I feel like if I'm going to have a social media uh inevitably I want to use it for good and I want to use it for inspiration and to show people you know the good and the bad and not kind of portraying myself as this kind of two-dimensional person you know everybody has their ups and downs um and I think that it's pretty really important to show that because otherwise you're giving people a completely you know, twisted and and incorrect perspective onto some onto your life, and and um, that's not what I'm here to do at all. I just want to be, you know, I'm a very positive person, and and I I think that kind of comes through in social media, in my social media, and I think it's important. But um, I think there are other things as well that one needs to think about um, when when being an actress or doing anything in in the entertainment industry other than social media even though it is very, very important. Yeah, absolutely. And we love your, just to say, we love your positivity. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing about being a role model. And it's not just positivity, it's actually positivity in action. It's actually, you know, the way that you live and what you do. Um, can you talk a little bit about what advice you would have? There's so many kids out there who want to be in your position. You just um, obviously filmed a big movie, which we're going to talk about shortly. Uh, and, you know, there's so many kids out there that want to do that so desperately, but really don't have an idea of how they would get there. And I know that you felt like that even before you started acting, like you, you mentioned, it seemed like it was some lofty goal that, you know, you, you felt like you, you couldn't even comprehend achieving, but you are which is amazing, but what would be the advice that you would give to kids? 
I think it's really, really important to train. And um, I get told this all the time that if you really, really want something and you put your mind to it and you try, and I know I sound like a broken record because it's been said before, that if you really put your mind to something, it will happen. It, it might take time, but it will happen. And if you go to your acting classes and you do your schoolwork and you broaden your horizons and learn new things and, and just work and work at your craft, something will happen. And when you send in that audition for that role you really, really want, the producers, the casting directors, whoever, We'll see, we'll see that in you. We'll see the months of training and the, the, the determination. I mean, it, it comes through. So I would just say, keep at it and do not be discouraged by all the no's that you get in this industry, uh, all the rejection, because it happens, it happens to everyone. Um, and I think it's just really important to just stay positive and believe in yourself and know that if you keep working at what you want to do you have to believe that it will happen because you just need to it's just it's the only way it's going to work and uh and it does and it will so yeah yeah that's great advice that's great advice and i'm sure our viewers really appreciate that because uh it, it can be a long road and it's also, you know, you go through so many changes as an actor as well, you know, because not only are you cast because of your age, but also how you look. And, you know, all of these things are really important. So that's, that's really great advice. Let's talk a little bit about managers and agents. Um, what would be your advice on, on kids who perhaps don't have an agent or a manager? Do you think they actually need one? I think um, that it's important and it's and it is definitely a part of um, being an actor or actress um, but I think like like I've said training is so important and when when you do go for that interview or for the for the meeting with the agencies or the managers or whoever you're speaking to that is the first thing that will come through to them if you show them you're dedicated and you show them that you know more than the average teenager uh, um, about this profession, it, it really kind of leaves, it leaves a good impression. And, and I think that's the way into, into the industry. Um, I think having an agent and a manager is important, but it's not, it, I don't think it's, it's what gets you in. I think there are really important things. They are really important things, but I don't think they're necessarily like a key in. I think that you can build yourself as, as a person and as an, as an actor um, way before you get an agent or a manager. Yeah, great advice. Absolutely. And you talked a little bit um, earlier about the pressures and some of the negativity that goes along with this business. And I know I have a very sound understanding. Uh, having been in the business for a while myself, it's not easy. And um, tell me how you deal with any kind of negativity or peer pressure that comes up from being in this business. Yeah, so um, I have an amazing support system. Um, my family, my parents are incredible. My animals, my dogs uh, are incredible. Um, so I really have them to thank for keeping me such a sane person. Um, and it's, it's difficult, there is a lot of pressure, especially um, for me where I have to balance so many different aspects of my life. Um, and, um, you know, sometimes I have my downs um, and that's normal and I think that goes for everyone. But I think that because I know that this is what I want to do um, and I'm, I'm really a, a determined person. So kind of when I set my mind to something that is it, um, I think that nothing can kind of sway me um, from the track that I'm on. Um, and so I kind of just block out what anyone has to say that doesn't fit my, uh, my kind of goal, my aspirations, because otherwise, if I'm going to be influenced by every single person who has an opinion on my life or on my career or my choices or the way I speak or the way I do, because 
everyone has an opinion about everything, uh, I'll never make it. And I know for me, that's not an option. So block out the haters because they're only they're only going to hinder you. So there, there's no need for them, really. There you go. Set a goal. Go straight for it. Don't let anything get in your way. I love it. Yeah. And, and I love what's coming across in your, your passion. And yeah, you're clearly a very focused person. How exciting. I love it. I love it. So let's talk about goals. You've obviously said you, you set your target on being an actor and you're doing it. Where do you see yourself in 10 years time? You're 17 now. So 27 years old. Wow, that's so scary to think about. 27. Uh, I just want to be, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing. And I just want to make more films, kind of delve into TV shows as well. I mean, there's such great TV and there's there are so many great, amazing films. And, you know, just, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing. I. I really am um, a person who, um, another way that I, I deal with um, potential rejection is that I don't set any expectations for myself. I'm just, I'm on my track. This is what I'm doing. I take things one, one thing at a time um, in order not to overwhelm myself. Um, and I just wanna do what I'm doing. So if at 27, I'm in, an, in another film or in maybe two or maybe three or, maybe I'm in a new TV show, that will be amazing for me. Like, that's all I want. Um, there are so many amazing shows out there. Euphoria is amazing. So if I ever had the opportunity to do something like that or you know, be in that, that would be like <laughs> speechless. So yeah. Wonderful, yeah. And let's talk a little bit about rejection. You touched on it earlier. Obviously, as an actor, you have to go through a lot of auditions, meetings. Talk to me about how you cope with rejection. So it's it's hard, um, as I'm sure it is for everyone who, who does what I'm pursuing. Um, but like I said, one thing that I, fa I found really, really helps me is that I really set no expectations for myself. I read a script. I completely fall in love with the character most of the time. And I really, really want it. But I don't let my hopes get too high just because I know how competitive it is, how many kids there are, how many amazing, talented kids there are who have maybe been doing this for a lot longer than I have and have a much longer resume with many more credits. So, you know, sometimes it can really get down to trivial things like whether you have, you know, the correct paperwork or, or or something like that or how far away you live from the place they're planning to shoot so a lot of the times it doesn't even it doesn't even have anything to do with your talent or what you're putting on camera um so for me I just I when I send in an audition or when I do an audition I I'm grateful for the opportunity to even audition to have even been sent the script so I read the script, I practice, I, you know, work on lines with an acting coach, you know, I do training and then I go in and I do my best at the audition and hope for the best. And, you know, if I get it, that's amazing. And if I don't, there'll be something else. And, you know, you can't get too bogged down on every single job because, you know, it just, it doesn't work that way. So yeah that's great advice that's great advice and we'll use this opportunity um to chat a little bit about your next movie because it is your your biggest project and really your first project yes uh, which is so exciting it's called my dad's christmas date it's out november 6th talk to me a little bit say what you can about about that yeah project. absolutely so um my dad's christmas date um, is a film that I'm in <laughs> that's coming out on November 6th um, with uh, st starring Jeremy Piven and Olivia May Barrett, who's lovely. Um, and it's a very, very heartfelt Christmas film to watch with your family. Um, it 
in premise, it's uh, about a, uh, the relationship between a father and a daughter, between David and Jules. Um, and I'm Jules's best friend in the film, Emma. And um, the film is about uh, the relationship between David and Jules and them kind of navigating this new dynamic they have between them because Jules loses her mother two years prior. Um, so it's them too. Um, and it's a, it's a really lovely Christmas film. And uh, I hope that the fun I had shooting it, which was unlike anything else, um, is kind of shown on camera. And I hope that everyone could see how elated I was to be part of this project and how proud I am to be part of this project. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been amazing. It's, it's really, really wonderful. So I really recommend seeing it. <laughs> it's, it's really fun. It is. Um, and uh, it will be gone. Sorry. No, sorry. I was just gonna say it will be available on iTunes and uh, Amazon Prime Video and Vudu and Fandango Now and Google Play on November 6th in the US. November 6th, there we go. And I love, love Christmas films because people watch them over and over again. And how great that your first big major film is a Christmas film because uh, <laughs> it's really, and really exciting. Especially during this difficult time. Yeah. We need yeah. some heartfelt, good family time to kind of sit down and just have a second of relief from the whirlwind that is today. Like, it's crazy. I couldn't agree more. And, you know, it's funny that I started this show during the lockdown, you know, that in, it actually started in March, you know, when the lockdown occurred and I started interviewing people. And this whole show is about setting a good example, being, being a role model, inspiring others. And obviously we have identified you as a role model. So you are a next generation role model, Hadar. Thank you for being here. Thank you very, here. very much. <laughs> and I want, to talk, I want to talk to you a little bit more about being a role model. You know, what does that mean to you? Because we're identifying you as a leader, as a visionary. What does that mean to you? I think uh, to me, being a role model is just helping to inspire anyone I could possibly inspire to keep doing what they're doing and be resilient and you know just to be happy and try their best in everything they do and live life to the fullest because you know th that's what we're here for so I mean really really I'm huge about kind of following your dreams and and I'm obviously living mine right now which is crazy to me and if you had told me a year ago that I would be sitting here and be interviewed about a film that I'm in and being interviewed to be a next generation role model, it would have seemed completely impossible and surreal to me. Um, so I just think that it's really important to me as a next generation role model to kind of show people that I'm not, you know, a dime a dozen you know like I am me and I live in Rome and you know I go to school and if it can happen to me it can happen to anyone so if anyone is pursuing this career they should really go for it. There you go don't hold back go for it absolutely and let's talk just quickly about sacrifices because I know that you know being in this business can be challenging when it comes to balancing your life what um, talk to me about the sacrifices you've had to make. Absolutely. So um, um, throughout my life, I, I, I uh, used to be a competitive horse rider um, for show jumping. So um, I've been faced with kind of having to make sacrifices my entire life. Um, there were a lot of times where I had to consider, you know, homeschooling um, because I would be traveling for competitions or any other passion I, I might have had um, growing up. And um, I think that sacrifices are really important, especially when you know that what, you, what you're trying to achieve is worth the sacrifice. Um, but something that I was never willing to sacrifice was my school um, because 
I, I, I'm a very social person. I'm a, I'm a people person. Um, and I was, I wasn't, I couldn't give up that social aspect of my life of going to school and being with my friends and learning. And I've, I've, I just like school. Um, but definitely there have been sacrifices I've had to make, you know, whether it be um, not going out uh, to see my friends for dinner or whatever on a Saturday night because I have an acting class or, um, you know, small things like that, or whether it be, you know, having to cut down on my horse riding during the week so that I can focus on my school and do my acting, my classes and, you know, reading scripts and learning lines and sending auditions and there are sacrifices that need to be made. Um, for me, they're worth it. And that's something that everyone should kind of consider and, and think whether what they're going for is, is worth it. Um, and yeah, just that that's how it's been for me. Yeah, and it has been for me too. And I completely understand with any big goal I've had to have, there's always been sacrifices. It's just the way it is. But obviously if that's your purpose and it's what you want to do, it is well, well worth it, absolutely. So let's talk about role models. I know I, you know, when I was your age, I had many role models. Uh, I was, you know, following them, studying them, trying to understand them. Who is your role, role model? And if you met them, what would you do with them? So I don't, I don't think I have one specific role model. My mother is my role model, but you know, I speak to her every day, fortunately for me. Um, mm -hmm. She's, my mother is amazing. But um, as a kind of a, a celebrity, uh, a person in the public eye who is my role model, I think Jennifer Lawrence is amazing. I find her incredible. Um, I think she's a, an amazing actress. I love her films. Um, and I find her really hilarious. And if you've ever watched a Jennifer Lawrence interview, I see a lot of my kind of personality in her, um, which is probably complimenting myself more than I should, but um, I think she's incredible. And um, I, another role model of mine is Ariana Grande. I think she's incredible. And funnily enough, when I was, I've been a fan of hers since I was six. Um, and I met, I, I, I didn't meet her, but I saw her or my brothers rather saw her at the airport once. And I was being a bit of a brat. Um, and I was like, mm, what are you talking about? That's not possible. And it turns out it was actually her. And I cried for oh. hours and hours and hours. And everyone at the airport was staring at me. Um, and I do not know what I would say to her. I would be too starstruck, to be honest. Um, she, I, I, those women are just incredible, in my opinion. I agree with you. I completely agree with you. I know as well that you have a big love for animals. You mentioned um, earlier that you are into horse riding since I think you were seven years old. Um, and you obviously have a big passion for animals. Let's talk a little bit about charity. What charity do you support? And, and tell me a little bit about your work for them. So I support many, many um, animal related organizations, whether it be um, things like the RSPCA, um, who kind of, you know, give their life to making sure animals are never mistreated because there's really nothing worse in my opinion than, than, than that. Um, my animals are everything to me. I have two dogs and a cat and horses and, I, I just love animals. They are incredible. So I support any animal related organization that is possible. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really important to me. I also support charities, my family and I support charities who help um, children with severe medical illnesses get, um, you know, the help they need because a lot of the times the government doesn't support them the way they should um which is completely disheartening um so that's very very important to me I would say those two are probably the things that are really most important to me 
Yeah, I'm always inspired when I hear other actors talking about helping others. I think it's so important and it's definitely one of the qualifications for being on this show and being a role model is really having an understanding that, you know, giving is such a great way to have a fulfilling life because there are a lot of people who need a lot of help and acting can be such an insular career you know it can be all about you um and it's so nice to um meet you knowing that you really have a passion as well for helping others so thank you so much for being amazing today and giving such a great interview so much knowledge there Um, for the viewers so much for them to you know grab onto and be inspired by so thank you for being on the show thank you very very much for having me I really really appreciate it you're welcome and please viewers make sure you watch Hadar's movie My Dad's Christmas Date out November 6th and we are following you and watching your career and you and I are going to stay in touch and thank you again for being on the show thank you very very much Absolutely. We'll talk soon. Bye. Okay. Bye.